hooking up a 5 kilowatt golden motor, DLDC motor. So we're just going to open the box here and we'll see what it looks like inside the box. These are fairly heavy motors. They're used for uh, converting motorcycles and small cars to electric. There you go. It's well packed. You can see the large phase wires coming out of the motor. You get a few extra plugs in there in case you need to hook it up to anything different than what we offer. And there's the shaft. It has a keyway and a threaded hole in the end. So the first thing you do is you hook it up to the controller. This is the orientation. You hook the phase wires on first. Then you have this uh, multi-wired plug that goes directly into the controller where you can hook everything up. And you have many plugs coming off of it. So to hook up these plugs, the first one we're going to do is the hall sensors coming from the motor. It's the black cable. It's got five wires inside that plug and it plugs into the only five wire plug that comes off of the controller. The next one is the three wired plug which is the only one coming off the controller and that's for the throttle. And you plug that, I'm just going to use a basic bicycle throttle here for this example. And uh, it's got three wires and you just plug it directly into the three wired plug coming off the controller. Now the motor's also got reversed, so the black and purple wires, the two plug wire, uh, the two wired plug I should say, plugs into the throttle and we're going to use the button on the throttle to reverse the motor. And then the next thing you would plug in would be the black and white plug, which is a two wired plug and it's for brakes. So I'm just going to use basic bicycle brake levers here, it's just for closing the switch to enable the brake and turn on the regen. So this wire here now is from the battery. It's the black and red wire, positive and negative. The black, which is the negative, just hooks onto the negative terminal on the, on the controller. And then this red wire here, it's got the little eyelet. This is going to be for your ignition. So that little eyelet goes on the positive side of the controller. And then you're going to tie the red wire from the battery in with it before you tighten it down. So that sends power from the battery through the ignition to turn on the controller. So with the battery hooked up now, the only thing left is I'm just going to make a little U-shaped wire from a paper clip because I don't have an ignition handy for this demonstration. And I'm just going to stick it in the red plug to close the circuit. So that makes the ignition on. So when I turn on the battery, there will be power. Okay, so I got it all hooked up now. Got the throttle, brake, using a paper clip for an ignition switch. Battery is on. Got a light on the controller here. It says we have power. So if I take the throttle, put it in the spin, there we go. I hooked up the red button as a reverse, so I'll push that. Goes the other way. Push it again. So you go forward and reverse. If I were to squeeze the brake levers while it was running, it would stop. But I don't want to do that right now because I don't have a free hand and the motor will probably spin because of the regenerative braking. But anyway, it seems to be all functional. And that's it. Gary Salo, Golden Motor Canada.